For less than $10, you can create skincare at home that would rival some of the most expensive brands out there. This isn't a trick and I have nothing to sell you either. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it and also why it could be one of the most powerful products out there. And you need to understand this to get started. You see, NAD plus is a miracle molecule. When we do things that aren't ideal for our bodies, we lose it and we have all sorts of, uh, well, problems. We get medical conditions, uh, diseases, degeneration, etc., etc. I personally have seen in my personal clinical experience, things like relief from Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, um, faster healing from injuries, uh, improved sleep immediately, faster growing hair and nails, improvements in menopause symptoms, and much, much more. The reason this happens is because NAD plus is from the power station of the cell, the mitochondria. The theoretical best skincare in the world for me is an NAD plus cream because it would supercharge every cell in your skin and maximize every single job that they have to do. Uh, it would work on tightness, brightness, texture, uh, and literally anything else that you can think of all at the same time. There's a couple on the market, but I think they're terrible to be honest, so I don't use them and I don't recommend them either. There's lots of issues with degradation of the molecule and keeping it oxidation free uh, before use. Uh, and these, you know, amongst other things, mean the current range in the market is useless in my eyes. If, in fact, if you're a manufacturer and you think you can make it properly, I'd love to advise you, so get in touch if you are. However, there's a cousin of this molecule which is usable in skincare. Uh, you've already heard of it, and the list of benefits are as long as my arm, because it works in a similar way. It's related to NAD+, because it's a derivative of vitamin B3. The skincare equivalent is niacinamide, but you can create a version at home that's way more powerful than what you can buy, and for a lot less money than some products. The downside is that it does involve a small amount of DIY. Now, niacinamide can be bought uh, in, in many products, but there's usually all sorts of crap in there, like preservatives and fragrances that come with it, and you're also paying for things like uh, marketing, for instance. However, here's how you can make a more powerful version for yourself at home, possibly for a lot less money. You need niacinamide powder to start with. Why powder? Because then it's 100% pure. In serums and creams, there's all sorts of other stuff, like I said. The powder is not only 100% pure, but it's very cheap too. Now, my favorite is the niacinamide powder from The Ordinary, uh, but I think that's possibly gonna be discontinued soon. I could be wrong if I've been misinformed. Um, I've bought it in the past for about four pounds, which is probably about five or six dollars. Uh, but here's where most people make a mistake. They think that they can mix it in with other products or water. Here's why that's not necessarily the best option. If you rub it in with other things, it's only a decent idea, I think, if that other product is also quite pure, in which case it could contribute to that product working better. However, if you use it with water, then my thinking is, won't you risk creating what's called a hypertonic solution? So this is where the, the concentration of water is exceptionally high, and this could cause too much to flood into the cells and damage them in a process called lysis. If you have the concentration too little, then you can create a hypotonic solution like uh, seawater, uh, which will drag water out of the cells and make you dehydrated. That's why you can drink a seawater actually, which sounds hydrating because it's water, but because of the concentration, it dehydrates you. It dehydrates you uh, on a cellular level, so you feel thirsty at the mouth. Now, when you're properly dehydrated in the hospital, what does the medical team give you? They give you an IV of saline. This is 0.9% concentration sodium chloride. This concentration is what we need as human beings. So if you get some of this, which is incredibly cheap, you can mix around three to five grams of the pure niacinamide powder with around say 100 ml of the saline to create your home DIY serum. Now you don't need to use you know, 100 ml each time, but that's the ratio I'd recommend. If it was a commercial product, you'd need other things in there like preservatives and additives for regulations. But because it's not going through a large manufacturing and transport process, you don't need that. But you can have it fresh every time. It's like making um, your own juice, right? Fresh with no additives, rather than buying juice from the supermarket, which may have to have additives in order for it to legally be sold. Uh, in fact, by the way, um, this video idea came from some teaching I was doing in my online school, 
where I teach cosmetic and longevity medicine live multiple times a week. And there's a link to that in the description below. Uh, if you want more cool stuff like this to help you look you know, as beautiful as you can and live as long as possible. But anyway, some tips uh, if you're going to be trying this method of DIY skincare. If you're going to make a big batch, then you need to make sure that it won't degrade. So be careful about making too much in one go. It's like, you know, if you make a big batch of juice, it won't last forever. Uh, you need to make it fresh relatively frequently instead of, say, you know, one batch for the entire year. Uh, also, don't be tempted to add way more powder than I've stated here because you might not even be able to absorb and use it all, even if you add it in. So three to five grams per hundred mil is absolutely fine. And finally, if you try this, please do comment down below so others can try to learn from your experience of this. You know, have you had better results with a different ratio between powder and saline? Um, have you found another source of the powder outside of the ordinary? I, I genuinely would love to know. Uh, however, you know, what most of my patients do is slightly different to what's in this video. A lot of them use something I made a video about last year called testosterone propionate. And before you think it, no, it's not testosterone like in hormone replacement. It's testosterone propionate that breaks down in the skin. So we try to limit the possibility that it has an effect on the whole body. Uh, when they use this, they actually mix in the niacinamide powder with it because the cream is pretty pure in terms of ingredients. It's compounded. Um, after they use one tube of the stuff at 1%, they move up to a stronger version that's 3% concentration for much better and, and quicker results. And, you know, some see less results than others, like in any skincare, but the vast majority absolutely love it when they get to that 3%. Uh, and get some incredible results that are uh, a rival for anything else on the market right now. Uh, as you can tell, hopefully from whatever pictures are on the screen right now. And I'll leave uh, a link to that original video in the description below, as well as the one year update, which has a load of before and afters in it too.